Action Comics number 1040 was published two days ago with this impressive cover of Mongol holding Superman's cape, presenting part 5 of the War World Saga. Superman and the Authority traveled to the War World to free it from Mongol, but they were defeated by the champions and were turned to gladiators fighting in Mongol's arena. Otho and Osul Ra were two prisoners whom Superman met in prison. They used to fall asleep to the songs of the blood priests, praising Mongol and his ancestors. Since birth, they have been taught that Mongol is not their slayer, but their hero. Kindness makes one weak and vulnerable, therefore it's cruelty, and cruelty makes one hard, protecting them from further hurt, and is therefore kindness. By this, the war zone is one of the best and the truest creatures in the universe, and Mongul is an ideal they aspire to. Mangul then entered the arena, where Otho and Osul Ra were amazed by his presence. They told him that he is their hero, as every night the girl tells her brother stories of his battles, and said that they wanted to be war zoons. Mangul, however, told her that if she wanted to be a war zoon, then she must slay her brother, as he slew his, then told the boy that if he wanted to be one, then he must slay his sister, but when they could not do it, Mangul was about to finish them. Superman intervened and prevented Mongul from killing the kids. Mongul retaliated, remarking that their kind could never be war zones. He then blasted Superman and knocked him down, but did not finish him. On his way out, Mongul met Chaitel, who urged his lord to kill Superman, but Mongul said that he would never make a martyr out of him, but Chaitel said that although Superman is broken and beaten, he still fights on, and each time he rises, he emboldens the others, and that's why the likes of him must be feared. But Mangul said that his plans for the United Planets will not work with Superman dead. He will not kill him, but will punish him for his insolence. Later on in prison, Superman got a message from Midnighter, saying that revolution is on, and that the first Star Forge comes down tonight. Superman was upset from what Midnighter said, cause he told him that the Star Forges hold the planet together, and destroying one of them will cause massive casualties. At the same time, the Forges keep Superman weak and helpless against Mongul and his champions. With the forges down, Superman's powers would start to come back, but Superman said that they should get out of the prison and find Midnighter, cause killing thousands is not an option. Krylox then said that he might know another way. That night, Superman and Krylox managed to sneak out of their prison and walked until they reached the place where Mongol keeps the great worms. This world holds many secrets, and the necropolis is the greatest of them. It's a tomb that not many know about, and no one knows who built it, but there are stories about the power that is buried there, and if they are true, Superman will be able to claim that power, and won't need to take down the Star Forges, and he will be stronger than he ever was. Superman then said that there are veins of Genesis embedded in the stone. It's radioactive and immensely powerful. He touched it and started feeling the power running in his body when he suddenly heard something. He told Krylox that they have to go back to the cells where the guards were about to kill Otto and Osul Ra as a punishment for Superman. The guard told the girl that Mongul took notice of them and he wanted to see them both dead. It's clear now that Superman is going to be empowered by the Necropolis, which is expected to make him stronger than ever, but I still see Midnighter destroying a Star Forge before he knows about Superman's plan. Hope you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, share and like. 
Thanks for watching and have a nice one.